Now, Sharifa Belkadus is a central character in the new HBO documentary In Tahrir Square, 18 Days of Egypt's Unfinished Revolution. The film chronicles the uprising uh, through the reporting of Sharif and looks at what the protests meant for Sharif's uncle, Mohammed Abdel Qaddus, a longtime Egyptian dissident who was arrested dozens of times by the Mubarak regime. This is an excerpt from the documentary that's airing tonight, recorded as Sharif reported near Tahrir. There's a sound of gunfire in the air. Uh, it's China, the military has fired shots. The army is stationed uh, in tanks uh, just at the foot of the bridge. It's uh, really surreal to see this part of Cairo look like this. seem to be pulling back. They're running back. People are cheering. They're cheering as they retreat. I have a right to elect someone. Who will represent me in Parliament? Not someone who rules with thugs. This country should change. This is enough. Enough playing games with us. We need freedom. An excerpt from the new HBO documentary In Tahrir Square, 18 Days of Egypt's Unfinished Revolution. The film premieres tonight on HBO2 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The film was produced by John Alpert, Matt O'Neill of DCTV, Downtown Community Television, as well as Jackie Suin of Big Noise Films. Jackie spent much of the past year in Egypt. All three filmmakers are joining us here in New York with Sharif Abdul Qadus himself uh, in Cairo. I want to start with Sharif in Cairo. Sharif, the experience of um, being covered, covering the revolution. Uh, well, it was interesting. Uh, it, uh, it certainly uh, didn't make things easier, but, uh, but I think it, it, it really helped me also uh, come to terms with, with uh, how the revolution was, was affecting me personally uh, as an Egyptian citizen. To uh, while I was covering the revolution, also kind of uh, look within myself and how it's affecting myself. And uh, you see at the end of the movie, I kind of uh, break down and cry on the last day when Mubarak uh, steps down. So uh, it was an interesting experience for me, uh, but it was great having uh, John and Matt and Jackie here uh, with me. Uh, John Alpert, talk about why you chose to do this documentary, to head to Egypt and cover Sharif covering the revolution. Well, actually, Sheila Evans of HBO is a fan of Democracy Now! And she was watching Democracy Now! saw Sharif and said, oh, my goodness, this is a really charismatic, interesting, intelligent person, and uh, called sort of put together a dream team of me, Matt, Jackie, and Pat McMahon, the editor, and said, why don't you guys try to capture what's going on by following Sharif? Jackie, as you look at these images right now, you were right there in the thick of things. When the camels moved in, um, when the thugs were attacking uh, those in Tahrir, talk about that experience as you were holding the camera. I, it was amazing to to be in a place where I'd been years before and see what was going on. You could never have imagined what happened in the streets those days. But the most amazing thing, I think, was the feeling of being in Tahrir Square, which is what the film captures, I think, is what it be does best. And that's what people are celebrating today and celebrating with the idea that this revolution hasn't hasn't stopped it's continuing and the violence that we saw in january and february was intense but what ha what has happened since uh, like sharif mentioned in october and november and december it's gotten even worse and people are still out in the streets they're still fighting tahir lives on Thus, Matt, uh, the subtitle uh, about the unfinished revolution. Um, at the beginning, you had your camera confiscated, is that right? Yeah, we didn't know what was going to happen when we got there. And uh, when John and I came through the airport, we had a strategy. And I had a little tiny uh, consumer camera that I took apart, wrapped the camera in my underwear, and put the other pieces in other parts of my luggage so I'd look like a tourist. And John, acting sort of as a decoy, had the big camera with the big reporter bag. And we both tried to go through in separate lines. And 
John had his camera taken away, and I had my camera looked at, and as I insisted, I was just a tourist uh, let through. Typical tourist with a camera in your underwear. That's right. <laughs> Where else to store it? <laughs> Uh, Sharif, um, as you can, if you can describe, even as we're talking now, because you're live, you're right there, we're talking anniversary, uh, going back a year, but this is a revolution that continues. What is happening right now as you look outside? Well, Amy, I was on a march earlier today. There's massive marches coming from working-class neighborhoods across Cairo uh, that are still arriving in Tahrir right now. Uh, it really is a massive, massive presence. I think a testament to the fact that many believe the goals of the revolution are still unfulfilled. Uh, the chants uh, are still the same of bread, freedom, and social justice. Uh, but one chant that has really uh, signifies, I think, the clarion call of the revolution is uh, down, down of military rule. That is really uh, the vigorous chant that people say right now, uh, because uh, the Supreme Council of Armed Forces, as Jackie mentioned, really has cracked down very hard uh, on dissent, and especially in the past three months. They've used live ammunition, bird shot, uh, astonishing amounts of tear gas on protesters. Um, they, they have beaten many people, many are blinded. And there's one man uh, called Ahmed Harara, who's really become a symbol of the revolution. He lost his left eye on January 28th in the uprising against Mubarak, and uh, from, from being shot by rubber bullets. On November 19th, in the uprising against the Supreme Council, he lost his right eye, uh, and he's now completely blinded. And uh, he's become really a symbol of this ongoing struggle uh, against uh, the military here in Egypt. Mm. John, <clears throat> you have been covering revolutions for years, I dare say decades. Uh, John Alpert, one of the leading documentarians of our time. What, did, how did the Egyptian revolution, how do you fit it into this story? Um, I've seen good revolutions. I've seen bad revolutions. Uh, I like seeing successful revolutions. And those 18 days showed us that when people band together, their strength is astonishing. And they moved an immovable object that people said couldn't budge, and they moved it. Uh, that doesn't mean the work is done, but it's really exciting. And I'm, I think we also really admire Sharif and his family, the commitment, the, the, what they've done to educate us about the revolution. And I'm just curious, Sharif, uh, you could have come back. Uh, you could have come back with us. Uh, Jackie and Sharif chose to stay, but you're still there, Sharif, uh, at some danger to yourself. And why? Would you tell us what's inside you that makes you want to stay there? Why did you change your life, and what did the revolution do to you? Well, I, I think it, uh, it gave me hope. Uh in my country, one that I grew up in here, where I grew up uh, really under one president with really no hope for change, and uh, seeing millions of fellow citizens come to the streets, uh, most of them much braver than myself. Uh, many of them have died. Many of them have been injured. I've had friends who have lost eyes. Uh, I've seen people killed in front of me. And what's amazing, I think, about this revolution and is really inspiring is uh, when there is violence against protests, more people come in solidarity to the protests. Uh, they don't run away. Actually, more people come to defend uh, this right of dissent. And so uh, it's been a, a very uh, incredible year for me to rediscover uh, a country that I grew up in. And uh, I, I, I am very inspired every day by struggles that continue uh, on the streets, uh, in the labor movement, uh, in the media. And uh, it still uh, has a long way to go, but I'm very, very confident uh, of eventual success. It uh, may take a long time, but I don't think uh, people will ever back down again here for uh, a while to come. Shreve Hodokadus, we want to thank you very much for being with us and for bringing us the story of your country as it unfolds. Sharif joining us from Cairo, Egypt. And thank you so much to John Alpert, to Matt O'Neill, and to Jackie Suwin, who co-produced the new HBO documentary, In Tahrir Square, 18 Days of Egypt's Unfinished Revolution. It airs tonight at 8 Eastern Standard Time on HBO. Tell your friends. And I